set my alarm three different times. Didn't hear it. Now we're two and a half hours late. So this is not a good cup of joe. I got my man Jerry, my best friend Phil waiting on me. Hopefully they forgive me for this one, but there it is. Warm up Joe. Running way, way behind. Can't even pour a cup of joe this morning. <sighs> Guys, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Today's adventure is starting out a little bit late. Let's hit the road. Yep, that's freaking stop and go traffic when I'm already two hours late. Good thing I got a good cup of joe. Okay, we are almost there. It's nine o'clock. Traffic was absolutely horrible. Stop and go literally from my house all the way here, basically. Definitely put me back another 30 to 45 minutes. I hope these guys are not gonna be mad at me. This sucks. I hate this feeling. But look how beautiful the day is on the bright side. It is a bright, bright, sunshiny day. And I think fishing's gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Look who it is. It's Jordan, but he's here. Hey, I'm Jordan, but I was here on time. As Jordan, I'd really, I'd really like to apologize to my friends, uh, Jared and Phil, for being extremely late today. Three hours. Three hours exactly late. Exactly three hours late. But, um, you know, I'm a humble guy. My name is Jordan Kanigi. <laughs> I'm just really happy to be here, and I'm glad that my friends showed up. <laughs> I'm glad oh. they're still here. Oh. <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. you know, I woke up, I opened my eyes, and I went, I'm way too rested. And I'm like, that's, I look at my phone, that's 6 30. I set three alarms. Yeah. I, I have no excuse. We're in motion. Things are in motion. Things are happening. We're rocking. Hard. Okay, 10 p.m. Update. We're finally leaving. Look at this all-American USDA choice human being specimen right here. That's right. That's what we call style right style. there. Hold on, I better let my hair down. Setting a trend. Let's see if it moves though. I don't know if my hair moves today. Setting a trend. Nope, it doesn't move. It's Mine stuck does. back there. Mine does. Damn, I should have came prepared. I think I brought a brush. <laughs> what a day. Phil found some mushrooms over in the bushes there, so he's grabbing them just to do a little ID check, see if we actually got some so it's up to make with dinner tonight. We're doing uh, something special this evening. We might actually go out for dinner. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. We're starting late, so. The river looks awesome. We're in one of the most beautiful places in the country. One of my favorite rivers. I'd fish this river every day, even if I didn't ever catch a fish. I swear to God. There he is. What is it? <laughs> those are Amanitas, dude. Oh boy, those will rock your world, man. I wouldn't touch the top of them. <laughs> The river, the, oh, it got on me. The white stuff got on me. This is an Amanita mushroom, everybody. Don't eat this. Very, very toxic. And Phil just carried it over here. Come on, little. Slow it up. That'd have killed us all. But that's okay. No, no, it wouldn't have killed us. But we'd have had a pretty good time. <laughs> okay. Shenanigans River. Let's go fishing. Okay, it's time to fish. Gonna go a little bit of eggs. Getting those all cut up here. Got some coon shrimp in there. That's our bait. That's what we're gonna use to catch our delicious, delicious meal. I'm gonna go with bobber and jig today. But I'm gonna do something that you still have enthusiasts out there, salmon enthusiasts. It's gonna freak you out. I'm putting eggs on my jig. Watch this. There we go. Okay, we're already eating a snack. Got some sockeye jerky from the last episode uh, when we went sockeye fishing with Ryan McCon over in Eastern Washington. You guys probably saw that. It was really cool. Oh, it's a little bit bigger. Oh, that's Heck a yeah. big sockeye. Heck Holy yeah. cow. For up here, that's as big as... What a beauty. But I'm trying to let Phil catch the first fish. My graciousness has overcome me. <laughs> we actually filmed a similar video to what we're doing here. Way different, but, but similar. Same river, at least. Uh, the other day, where we were trying to accomplish a goal. And Mr. Phil... I don't want to spoiler alert or anything, but I caught more fish than Phil, so it's his turn to get first drifts and stuff. Oh! 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 oh. What if? What if? Mm -hmm. Just kidding. But anyways, let's enjoy some sock at your kid. Go ahead. Mm. Look at that color. Oh, oh. Yeah. 
still got it. I still got it. Well, I'm wrapped around anything. No, you still got your bobber still going. Yeah, no, it's wrapped around my tip. Oh, that's nice. But you still got it. <laughs> oh, no, there's something. Oh, there it went. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Well, while he's doing that, here, you do this. Stick that in your mouth. Meanwhile, I felt a tap tap too. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my bobber? Stick. <laughs> I looked down at the hole, you said anchor. I looked back up and my bobber was uh, gone. And I got my first stick fish. Okay, so my man in the back of the boat here, Jerry Higginbatham, is the man at the top of the game at Yakima Bait Company. And they make something called the maglet, which is one of the most effective ways of catching a salmon, a steelhead, and trout in the world, honestly. You can, you can pretty much find these things anywhere, so let's dump them in, see if we can get a fish. I'm gonna let it out, let them line. I'm going to 45 here. We're fishing. Oh. Oh, Phil had one. He freaking yanked it right out of his mouth. <laughs> There's no proof of it, though. There's no proof of it that he yanked it. I have the camera going on this rod over here. My rod didn't get bit. I think got slammed. You just let me know when to fire. Fish. He's done it. He's done it. He's done it. He's done it. Oh my God. I bet that one swallowed it too. He wasn't, he really wasn't very early on that one. You guys missed it, but his power went down. Fish the frick on. Fish on Phil. They call him fish on Phil for a reason. Fish on Phil. Fish on Phil. Fish on Phil. Look, it's fish on Phil, everybody. He's ripping. He's ripping hard. Oh, look at that, man. I think you got like 14 pound test. That's more like a big Chinook. 14, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got it from a guy. Got it from a guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was too small. Yes, first fish of the trip. How's it Look at these fall colors. Look at all the squirrels. Squirrel moment. Back to the fishing. Oh, that's a good one, too, dude. Yeah. Oh, big old tail. We saw him. He's Moby Dickin. <laughs> He's Moby he Dickin. Always, he hasn't tried to sing us yet, but. He's thinking about it. He's Moby Dickin. He's migrating. He's migrating. He's migrating. He's Giant he's... Jordan says he's migrating. <laughs> Let's go little vision here for a second. What's he looking at? <laughs> it's starting to roll in now. It's a dandy, dude. That's a good Chinook. Okay, back to Jordan vision. Wow, that thing's fresh. That's Goodness fresh. gracious. It's nice really fish. new. Really nice, fresh fish. Let's go, Phil. You know, you got 14 pound test on, so be careful. That's Catorce in the Espanol. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, come on! Oh, oh no! It's right there. <laughs> Just jump in a net and pull a big dance. Oh my god. Dude, the fish is probably still there. Let me see that net. Oh, what happened? I don't know. HBC. We call it Heartbreak City. Dude. Dang it. Dang it. Well, there goes 10 minutes of our life. We're never getting back. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Phil. Dang it, Phil. Sorry, oh, man. God. On again, he's on again. Oh, we were oh just talking God. about like the whole how what just went down, trying to figure out why, trying to put all the puzzle pieces together. He's getting on a bobber jig, a bobber and addicted jig, and we're like, this is crazy. That never happened. Bobber goes down, bobber on again. Fish on, okay. bobber jig, bobber jig, without even twiddling. No, twiddling. didn't even yeah, take a twiddle. Yeah, didn't even have to twiddle it, and it's on. Oh, like a, oh, double. Oh! Was that a woodcock fish? Oh, it was a woodcock fish from uh, um, uh, Charlie Brown. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh, he's migrating! He's a migrator! <laughs> Jesus, that thing is big. Oh, oh, oh boy! Oh, that's a nice one. To your left, step or two left. Get you, yep, keep going. Recenter your body, there you go, keep pushing. You sound like we're delivering a baby. <laughs> Push! Now lift towards the boat. Yeah. Nice and easy. Oh. 
Oh god. Nice shot! I was gonna say! That thing was so I was just I was in one it. That thing was falling out of its mouth before you netted it. Yes. We all saw it. Yes! That's it. Fish in the boat. Yes! It can be done. Bill was fished in Washington his entire life. And that was his first fish on this river. So congratulations, Phil. Congratulations, brother. Love you, man. Love you too. Give the people a high five right there, everybody. Little likes it. Put her on a leash. Night. Yeller knows the way, dude. Oh, yeah. Just trust Old Yeller. She knows the way. Old Yeller always knows the way. Woo! We got low water, everybody. Move around the ground, Captain. Captain, move around the ground! <laughs> spin technique. Spin move. We do spin move. There we go. To come in and over the oar, okay? okay. Nice work, gentlemen. So, a quick little tip there. Sometimes when you get a big boat stuck like this, or any kind of boat, even a canoe, you can see how I made sure I was above the drift boat the entire time. The only wearing flip flops. I'm wearing my Chaco, Chaco Nation, Chaco. You see us out here. The key is, if that boat comes loose and I have all this weight and all these guys in here, it's gonna crush me, break my leg, break my foot. You can do some really bad things, so you always stay above the boat when you're trying to get it out of a situation like that or out of harm's way. So, a little quality tip for you guys out there. Okay, it's lunchtime, everybody. We're doing roast beast sandwiches. Mopping the market's finest. Roast beast. All we're gonna do here, a little clam of sourdough bun. Munching that sourdough. I'm gonna cut this thing right on through. And be careful to never cut towards your hand. A little bit of my homemade Italian mayo. This is um, mayo, green olives, garlic, and some shallots. A little bit of hippie cowboy in there. Gonna be gracious. Next, our roast beast. Oh yeah, and a sliver of onion. A little bit of ch 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 cheese on it. The lechuga. There it is. Yummy. There you go, bud. Yeah. Sandwiches. I'm gonna rock some shade line. Oh yeah. Yeah. A little twiddle action in between. Oh, you see that? Darn, that was a drain ski. Bobber down ski. Twiddle, twiddle. Twiddle, twiddle. Basically, every time you need to go to mend, I twiddle it. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Should I don't just mend up? it. Right. Oh, 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 oh. 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 I don't know. It's, oh, is it the shade? No, is it the shade? I'm gonna let him grab it, if anything. Okay. Still going. No, I can feel, I got my finger on it. I got one. I got one. I got one. Hold this. Oh, it's the real one. All right, it's the real one. I got him on the inside here. There it is. Apologies, everyone watching. We're getting. We got a little complacent here. I was uh. My mind was on sandwiches <laughs> instead of catching fish. And I didn't get the bobber down on the camera here, but that's okay. That's the fish on. Soon as the sun went down, we've been sitting here enjoying ourselves, having some libations, fishing, fishing, fishing. I just got bit. The very last cast came in, put a new bait on. The fish almost ate my bobber, jumped right next to my bobber, went about another 10 feet, got a fish. He's coming to us. Uh oh. I think coming right to us. This joke is punch. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna trick him. I'm gonna trick him. I'm gonna trick him. 
Oh, 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 wow. Oh, he's horsing me. He's horsing me around. He's horsing me around. Okay, I'm gonna roll him, pull him. And then I'm gonna whack him. We call them the roly poly whackers. Oh, no, he said no, sir. I did not want that, sir. Oh, there it is. Heck yeah, fish on. It's a nice one too, dude. Yes, it is. It is the nicest one. Nicest one I got all day. What a beautiful fish. <laughs> Just a studly one. Nice little female. Got that really interesting glacial color to it. You can see how it has like an ashy kind of white color on top of its normal colors. It's from the glacial water that's coming down this river. That's that color that you're seeing. Can't complain. It's two dead fish in the boat. It's been an awesome day. Let's get this fish processed. So my first step after catching this fish is gonna be to get all the blood out of the interior of it. So I'm gonna take my knife or scissors. I'm gonna cut the gills. I'm gonna kind of massage its back, keep its head underwater so that the uh, blood doesn't start to clot inside of its gills there so we can get all that blood out because there's going to be eggs inside this fish and that's actually what we're using to fish with today as you guys have seen before on a stay fishy adventure but i'm going to keep it upside down it's better to just actually work it out of the fish a little bit kind of move it around with that thing kind of have those last couple heartbeats pump that that blood out after we bonked it and gets all the blood out of the eggs and everything else so she should be good to go what a pretty fish heck yeah Well, the day has grown old, everybody. The sun is going down. We're still hitting the rocks. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, but it was a great day. Phil lost a lot of fish, but we caught fish. I caught a fish, but luckily, there is another day still to come. We got cool dinner plans. We actually, I don't know, I'm gonna leave that one a cliffhanger. We might, if they're still open, go to a famous spot. Famous for this county. Not a very big county. People drive from miles around to eat there. Um, and it just so happens to be the only restaurant. <laughs> or we might do some catch and cook stuff. So we're gonna get back, fillet these fish, and then we got more plans for the night. And then tomorrow is a whole new day on a beautiful, beautiful river. Today was awesome. Let's see where tonight leads us. Are we slamming this? Or is this like a, yeah. Are we slamming? You put straws in there like we needed straws. Ha ha ha. All right, everybody. Here's the Phil's first salmon. Great little shot of water, that was delicious. We are here, everybody. We're at the meat barn, about to have us some meat. We just ordered a 22 ounce steak, loaded potato, broccoli, and a salad. We're keeping it healthy with the salad. This is gonna be painful. This is kind of a challenge. This might be the title of the video, even like the 22 ounce steak challenge. Oh, I'll win that. <laughs> That's a guaranteed W, folks. If, a, if you're betting, bet on the big fella. Yeah. Well, there it is. Don't be intimidated. Because it looks tasty. That's a big steak. That's, a That's 22, steak. 44, 66. 66. The old 96 and we're coming at 66 you. 66 ounces of oh, meat. Oh, Hold on tight, everybody. I can't do it. Can't do it. I can't do it, Captain. It. it hurts. We're sweating. I'm sweating. Oh my god. That's a lot of food. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better myself. So good. Oh. After rowing all day, gonna be a little snackage. I think you got some protein. Good thing you got corn to help the thing by. Oh. Breeze on through. <laughs> all right. Airbnb is pretty cool. Got some interesting artwork. Sorry for all the dark lighting. Pretty interesting, cool. I think that most of the Edeka crew would be scared if they were here right now. Kind of like a haunty feel. I'm gonna sleep with this thing looking it's at me. It's kind of trippy, bro. I'm gonna sleep with this thing looking at me. I'm sure none of you watching this video would care. It's kind of trippy, dude. And what if the what, dude? What if these chest things just start bro, moving? If, the, if I wake up tomorrow and, and there's they're a half chest game done. And like I'm laying here like with my my throat slit. Oh yeah. That would be odd. What do you think? 
<laughs> that'd be odd. Yeah, that'd be really odd. After the day Ooh. we had the good dinner, bro, that whole throat slit thing oh. would be really odd. 66 Dude. ounces of steak. I'm, yeah, We're just consumed between three men and two dogs. Your, your shirt's not, your buttons Ooh. haven't popped yet. They're not popping yet. They're almost They're there. But here. All right, everybody. It's time for some good rest. Tomorrow it's a new day. It's going to be some good fishing. Let's go fishing. You are so funny, dude. Okay. Morning starts with a good cup of joe. I was funny, wasn't I? You were, we were being funny. <laughs> Last night was full of shenanigans. Nothing too crazy, though. We just hung out at the house here. This is our... Yeah, laughing, yeah, laughing at himself. Yeah, laughing at myself. I took the, I took the moment to watch uh, an addicted watch fishing dude. video. If you guys have never done that, There's go over and check out addicted fishing. And uh, we're going fishing. We're, we're standing going in the parking lot, the talking Isn't about these awesome. bad boys right here. Yeah, that's sexy. That's sexy. a big blade. I like that. That's my max. Yeah, guys, these are pro lock oars. If I made right here in Washington, what a beautiful place. Beautiful morning. Let's go catch some fish. Okay, we made it. Boats in the water. It's time to get ready. I'm bumping things up today. It's time to catch some big, big Chinook. Okay, here it goes. Big old freaking plug. Wrapping some tuna. Tuna from the past episode. Where this is the food chain challenge. You kill one thing to catch another. Here it goes. 40 on the money. That's it. The instruction is 40 feet. Almost there. Almost there. And just because I'm an outlaw. There we go. Oh, fish, fish, fish! He's there, he's there, he's there, he's there. He's there, he's there, he's there. He's, there. he's ripping me, he's ripping me. He's just about to put the chesty on, didn't even get a chance. And we got the first hit. Okay, he's real tight. We got a barbless hook on here, so we have to be really, really tight to the fish. Make sure to keep him. Oh, he just batted on the head roll. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Here we go. Round two. We've been sitting here for a while. Rode back up, sat on anchor. Oh, he's coming right at me. This is scary. This is scary. Harry's scary. Oh, yeah. Oh. He's a ripper. Oh, woo. Oh, he's oh, right here. Nice. Stay down. Stay down. I don't like that. Don't like that. Stay down. This is a good one. See, this is what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna pull the switcheroo. I'm gonna keep him tight over here. Stay. Ah! Oh! So, yeah, I was horsing him there. I, that was that was my fault. It was a little too tight. I should have reached up and. Dang it! That one was a nice fish. Probably 15 pounds. Too. Whew. Okay, so we've started to descend down the river. Now we've left the glory hole. We got two nice fish. That's okay, we still have the fish from yesterday. We don't need to over harvest the meat. That's kind of the beauty of a good year of fishing and you don't have to overtake. There's other days we can come out here and catch them. And we already have fish in the freezer and stuff at home too. So it's all those last thing. Oh, this one's gonna be loud. This one's loud. Do no rock. Old Yeller knows the way. Woo! We're here fish, we're here fish. All right, let's try to catch us another one. Steelhead time. So there's three different species in this river. There's trout, salmon, and steelhead. Two different species yeah, of trout. Right, uh, so if we could catch all of them on this trip, that would be, they call it a bucket list. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool opportunity to even get a chance to do this. So we actually did it on a different a video, on an addicted video as well a while back. What a beautiful day. Look at the fall colors. Look how handsome, but handsome little is. Let me you handsome. Bugus, do you handsome? All right, gee. Little's cheering on the front next to us. They got a big fish on. Sitting here talking about old time telling old stories and push on. All right. The pivotal moment. Pressure's on. You're gonna be famous. Nice work, bro. That's a beast. Nice. Yeah, brother. Yeah. Our captain is on. It was his turn. We've been over here just foobar and stuff. Oh, knocking man. stuff off the hook all day long. And now it's his turn. Now I get to net a fish. All right. Okay, it's getting them. It's getting them. Looks like a steelhead, eh? Oh, yep, yep, yep. That's about as good as they get right there. Woohoo! Fish calm. Yeah, buddy. Donkey calm. <laughs> Donkey calm. Come on in, buddy. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard, Mr. Salmon. Woohoo! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. Oh, nice fish. Yeah, dude. Wow, how pretty. 
And you guys, we are so far from the ocean, that's the crazy part. We're a couple hundred miles probably this fish has swam and it's still this healthy, still that shiny. Oh God, that's a nice one. Look at that yeah, gill. Buddy. They're so cool looking up here. I love it, dude. River fishing salmon, you can't beat it. Nope. Bobber down ski. Bobber down ski. That was like a bobber boom, down boom, boom. ski. Ski? He was skiing. Ski, ski. That was awesome. What a fish. Yeah. Oh, it's all on. Mike Ray, that's a feeling. That's a feeling. That's a coho. No, no, no. That looks like a coho. Is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, beauty. Just a beautiful, oh, there it goes again. Goodness gracious, scared him. Goodness gracious, it's a nice little wild steelhead. Oh, what a beautiful fish. What a fish. Whew, so that's two of the three species that we can catch on this trip. Beautiful right. fish, way to go, Phil. Excellent. There he goes. Nice work, buddy. What is that? What is that? Oh God, he's migrating. He's migrating on me. He's going to go, I'm bringing him back around town. Here we go. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, that's a big shake. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, he's shiny. He's shiny and bright. It took off like a steelhead right out the gate. There he is. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah. That's another fish in the box, everybody. Bandy, another man. one. What another beautiful salmon. Cool looking fish. Looks like a nice male. Okay, it's lunchtime, everybody. And today we're having the world's first ever seen Texas tuna tacos. Wild Jordan's Texas tuna taco there. And our forgotten item of the week is uh, any sort of silverware. So we're gonna use the spoon as a spoon. Spoon. Or plugs the spoon. Like tomato, tomato. Plug is a spoon. That's how we're making these tacos today. So we have our canned albacore tuna. Absolutely delicious from one of the addicted episodes a long time ago. I'm gonna mix them up a little bit with some pickled quail eggs, some pickled mushrooms that me and Brooke made, a little onion, cheese. I'm gonna do some cottage cheese and some mayo on a Texas toast. Texas tuna taco, here we go. I'm gonna open up my can of whoop ass. Right there. Ooh, that looks good. Look at that. So much fat in that. Unbelievable. Okay. So we're gonna use our spoon here. Lots of meat. Scoop of the cottage cheese. A bit of the Italian mayo from home. Since we still got some left. A little bit of pepper. I'm gonna slice a little quail egg up a couple times. Bloop. 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 And last but not least, some pickled mushies. Got a nice chanterelle there. One there, one there. Here you go, big man. Here's your Texas. I'll get the first Texas, Texas tuna. tuna taco ever. Look at that. Tell me what you think of it. That'd be delicious, bro. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> Just came up with this one on a whim. Hey, let's watch like his work. face. Oh, you eat it sideways, huh? That is really good. You like that? That was delicious. Texas tuna taco. Even off my rod with the sand and everything. Yeah. You like that? Ow. All right, my turn. Okay, there's my tuna taco. Wow. Basically, I didn't have a bowl, but I had everything to make tuna fish sandwiches, so I made it anyways. Worked out really nice. Texas tuna taco. Saw it here first. Jordan's on again. Jordan plug is on again. Roll back into the next hole. This one's got the good hook on it now, though. Oh, man, I'm all bent up. I'm all bent up in a chair. I'm just going to ease them in. Going to ease them in. Oh, it's a hot one. It's a hot one. Oh, it's a hot one. I just lost all, all of my progress. Oh, that's a chromer. Chromer. Here we go. Take a good look at him. Step over the other side, Phil. Yep. Here he comes. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go deep. I'm gonna go deep. I'm gonna out here him. 
I'm gonna go out here him, and then I'm gonna go right up here with him. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Woohoo! Fish on, maglip for the win. That's like five now. That's what I'm talking about. Well Bye done, man. Captain. Well done, Captain Jordan. Well, that is a limit of salmon for me. So I'm tagged out for the day. Belly's full of Texas tuna tacos. Box is full of king salmon. Time to enjoy the rest of this beautiful fall day. Slowly make our way home. It's been an awesome adventure so far, everybody. Thanks for being here. <sighs> well, all good things must come to an end, unfortunately. And this is what the end of it looks like this time. I love you, buddy. Man, thank you so much for everything. Fun. That was fun, bro. That was a hell of a trip down the river. We got a lot of meat to deal with and a long drive. It's okay, though. It's all in the good name of fun. I thank the creator for this day. It's time to head home. Good? Sure. Like that? It's great. Do you like I loved it? it. I loved it. I thought that was really good. Can we do it?